How to use international financial statistics online. Before starting out, note the My Data section at the top of the page. Registering here using your Binghamton University email account will allow you to save your data results. Look at the variables listed on the left. It is best to search using the Query Builder, which breaks data down by country concept and data source. Let's start searching by country. You can go directly to your country by typing the country name in the search box, or you can expand the country list by opening up one of the options below. We will expand the countries and entities list. We will select Argentina. Note that you can also select multiple countries. Note that some of the countries listed have a red exclamation point next to them. If you click on the red marker, additional links for country metadata will be described. Now that we've selected our country, it is time to select the concept by clicking on the Add Items link. This can be done by typing your concept in the search box or by expanding the Economic Sector option listed below. We will type Consumer Prices in the search box. From the list, we will then select Consumer Prices All Items. The next option is Data Source. However, it is not necessary to select a specific source. For this reason, we will skip on down to the time part of the Query Builder. Note that years and frequency are already listed. Time is usually automatically set to the years and frequency that the data is available. For example, in this case, 2003 to 2012 annually. Take into account that the data may not be available for your desired years or frequency. However, if the data is available from multiple data sources, you may be able to change it. If you wish to change the frequency of the data or the years covered, hit the Change link. We will select both Annual and Quarterly and will change the starting year to 1990. When finished selecting, click the green View Data button. It may take a minute or so for the data to load. Note at the top of the table there are multiple options for downloading, printing, and tables. The first symbol is for Advanced Mode. This option allows you to manipulate the data. For example, the Unit section lets you change the currency used in the table. If you need additional data sources, use the Library's Subject Guide to Economics. If you need further library help, click on the Ask Us link at the top of the page.